Okay guys, so this video is on how to find a product that will actually sell. Now the way you find a product that will actually sell is to choose a product that customers are going to like and that is better than the alternatives they have there on the market. So I'm just going to show you something that I do and it's it, like if you want to do it, it's only going to take maybe 10 or 20 minutes to do uh, very quick and when you do this, you get a massive advantage over other people out there selling products who haven't done this little trick. So what we're going to do is say we say our store is selling products like a, a keyboard. We'll use a keyboard for this example. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump here on Amazon and I want to check out the existing feedback on keyboards. So if we just go in here and type in keyboards keyboards All right and we'll see what options we have now these top two are just sponsored ones so I'm just gonna go down and find sort of the best rated ones so this one here has got 6,000 people bought it this one here is a bit less 1,000 um, this Amazon basics is 4,000 and then let's say we want to actually what we want to do is we want to go through and look at the reviews for these products so what I do is if we scroll down um, now you'll see here on the left hand side it's got 4,000 customer reviews and it's got all the different star ratings now what we can actually do is if we click on this three star over here we can sort out all the reviews that someone gave as a three star review and the reason I like to do this is because generally three star reviews are the people didn't like the product exactly. They, they thought there was a little bit wrong with it, but they didn't absolutely hate it. So these are generally, generally the reviews that have the most information in them. So what I'm going to do is look through and see what they didn't like about this product. Okay, the feeling of the keys is not that great while typing, right? Cable is not that long. So what I would do now is I would find, like open up an Excel document and I would actually write down, list all the things that people didn't like. And if you find two reviews the same thing, then you just tally that up. So you've got, so far we've got two things. The keys don't feel that great and the cable's not long enough. Um, now if we had to go through, we could look at some more. Keyboard works as expected, but the finish is like having a mirror. So I think this person's saying it's too glossy. The keys are noisy. So there we go. Uh, that's a second review for saying the keys are too noisy. So what I would do is I'll go through all these reviews and tally up the things that people don't like and even the things that people do like. And when you're done, all you have to do, five or ten minutes on this, this particular product and you'll have an Excel document that shows the most things that people didn't like about this product and the most things that they did. And then what I would do next is I'd go through onto the next keyboard I clicked on and I would sort it by three star reviews, do the same thing and find out what people do like about it, what people don't. And by the end of it, if you do, yeah, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, you can get like basically a list of sheets and you've got all the things that people most did like about keyboards and the things that they most didn't like about keyboards uh, or the existing keyboards on the market. And then what you do when you're finding your supplier and trying to find the keyboard to source, you look at all those things, the things that people most didn't like, and those are the most important things that you need to focus on. So just from those two reviews, I would say uh, it looks like if you're looking for a keyboard, try find one that is not noisy as that's obviously a big thing from what we've seen. And chances are you would have a list of other things which people most didn't like about the product. And if you can go find a product that suits all of those things, um, you're gonna be doing better than all the other keyboards on the market just by analyzing the existing reviews on the market. And as soon as you start getting selling that product, you'll get good reviews from it. And good reviews means lots of sales.